Hey folks, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, using sine rule to find the missing angle. All right, and this is for non-right angle triangles. All right, so let's get started. All right, so our first question is we're asked to find what angle A is. So as usual, guys, before you, uh, when you start with the question, is label the sides uh, and then trying to figure out what it is that you look for, and then you can choose which rule to actually use. All right, so in this case, I'm trying to look for angle A, which means my side opposite is going to be called little a and i have angle b and the side opposite is little b so what i'm going to write is i'm going to have this as sine a over a equals sine b over b now sine a that's what i'm trying to figure out so i'm going to leave it as it is little a is equal to 6.4 uh, my other angle that I'm working with is 60.46 and little b is 6. So rearranging this, I'm going to have sine a equals 6.4 times sine 60.46 divided by 6. And so sine a, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to do this in one whole line, guys just to save a bit of uh, time here. So I could write this as A is equal to sine, inverse sine of 6.4 times sine 60.46 divided by six, and that's what my angle should equal. All right, now the reason I'm actually putting the whole thing in the bracket like that is so that I actually get a far accurate answer than using rounded numbers. And when I do this in the calculator, guys, I get an angle of 68.12 degrees. So angle A could be said that it's equal to 68.12 degrees. Okay, let's do another example. So in the second example, I've been asked to figure out what angle B is. All right, so angle B is here, which means the side opposite it is 9.25, which is going to be little b. And I've got angle A, which is 32.2. And the side opposite it is 5.11 which is going to be a now as usual you don't have to start writing it as sine a over a equals sine b over b in this one you could do it as sine b over b equals sine a over a so when i do this my unknown angle is b so i'm going to leave it as it is little b is 9.25 equals sine a which happens to be 32.2 divided by little a which is 5.11 and as usual guys i can write this as sine b equals 9.25 times sine of 32.2 and the whole thing divided by 5.11 so really i could say that b is inverse sine of 9.25 times sine 32.2 and the whole thing divided by 5.11 and when I do this guys I get an angle of B which is going to be 74.71 degrees cool that's basically it guys for this session uh, this is to show you how to find the missing angle using the sine rule all right, next up, we're going to be looking at uh, the cosine rule. And then probably uh, in this video series, I should give you one where it'll be mixed problems and you got to figure out whether to use sine rule or cosine rule. I will do that later on. But for this video, this is all. Uh, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. And thanks for watching.